How's it going everyone? Anthony here and I am bringing you a commentary on top of this bouldering video from my local gym. And I'm gonna start it off with this Dino V5. And um, I'm doing it an interesting way because I was told by Gabe, the guy in the red shirt, um, that I'm doing like a, uh, an all dynamic move on this. Um, there's actually a way where you can step onto the starting hold and make it easier for yourself. Um, so you don't have to jump as high. So I went with the all jump, all hands approach. And here's uh, an angle of me doing it his way. So a lot of these boulders are brand new and I haven't even hit them yet. So I thought this would be a cool time to make a video on all of the ones I'm sending. So here's a nice little chill V4. Um, I'm glad that I'm finally at the skill set where I can flash fours and fives. Uh, I remember when that seemed totally impossible, but now um, fives are becoming a little bit more doable for me. I'm still projecting sixes though, because uh, sixes just feel so hard. Got some little crimps going on at the top. Um, crimps used to be my weakness, but I'm getting a lot better at them. The best thing to do is just practice your weaknesses and they get easier. All right, so now I'm on this yellow V5. <laughs> Failed a flash there, but whatever. Cool, so now I'm making my way up. I definitely wouldn't say I'm a good commentator. <laughs> Once again, some more crimp action going on right here. <laughs> that was actually kind of a tricky one. All right, cool. So this is the purple V6 that I just started projecting. Uh, once I was filming this video, I thought this would be a cool project. The start's very difficult, but I've actually gone to the gym since making, uh, since filming this video, sorry and I've worked out the start of this. I'm actually correct on the heel hook right there, but I don't know that there's a good hand on that arete right on top of where my right hand is right now. Uh, that would make that move a thousand times easier, but since going back, I've figured out that that right hand can bump up on the arete and I can hit that side, or that like crimp thing that's on the other side of the arete. And I've actually, uh, I've actually, uh, done the upper part of this problem. Uh, I just have to link the bottom and the top together. Okay, this one's hard. I feel like if I can get past the start, the path that sloper, pinch slope thing, I might be able to get it. It feels solid. The holds are good, so I think starting is the crux on this one. Yeah, start's definitely the crux. Um, so I think if I went back on a fresh day with full strength, I think I might be able to send it first try. Um, because I managed a high point that was within the uh, top section that I worked. Um, All right, too hard, so I'm not gonna do it. I gave up, I think, because I didn't know that right hand beta on that arete, so I think I'll get it next time. Yeah, so we got the elephant tusks. Um, not a huge fan of these holds, they're very slippery. But this was a fun V5. Um, the holds are pretty decent. A lot of, gotta keep a lot of core tension on these moves. It's crazy to watch these and just see like how far I've come in such a short amount of time because I remember when V2s felt impossible. Now, I'm able to do like fives and sixes. It's amazing. Feels great. So this problem is one of my favorite fives in the gym. Uh, it's pretty overhanging actually. And I was doing this problem while I was on the phone with my girlfriend too. <laughs> I just love these big moves and these 
compress he moves. Oh, that's a hard move right there. Yeah, when I was filming this video, I was like on one because I led for an hour with one of my friends and then bouldered for like two hours and then led again after. <laughs> and I wasn't doing like easy lead routes either. I was doing some pretty hard stuff for, for me. And, um, and yeah, I was just like really pumped and hyped on this day. So yeah, this problem was terrifying. <laughs> These slopes, very tricky holds. Uh, you just kind of got to commit. That's like the big thing with bouldering. You just got to commit to the moves. Routes like that are scary when you run out of chalk on your fingers. Whew. Anyway, that was a good one. I'm feeling strong today, having a good time. Lots of new routes here, this is so fun. Uh, my hair probably looks so stupid right now. Climbing really messes it up. Anyway, I might try more fours, maybe a five. Let's see how it goes. Let's keep looking. Yeah, I need to work on that autofocus. I don't know why it, uh, I think I know why it goes out of focus when I'm in front of the camera. I have it set to autofocus, but uh, it's just something I need to work on. Uh, isn't it like the best feeling climbing up boulders where you can top out on. I love that feeling, it's so fun. Another thing I really wanna work on next few months is my speed because um, while I take my time on a lot of these boulders, uh, I definitely notice I think I can go faster um, just to make it more appealing and um, smooth and efficient too because I pump out a lot on hard uh, sport climbs. I want to be able to just climb faster, more efficient. It's, some, it's definitely something I've been practicing recently too. Yeah, this problem's funky. <laughs> that transition's super weird. I'm getting like so much more comfortable on crimps too, because like if my feet cut like that, I can still hold on. I remember when cutting feet on crimps used to be impossible for me especially on overhangs. Cool, so this V5 gave me a bit of trouble. It's actually one that I've done in the past, and uh, I haven't done it for about maybe two weeks, three weeks. Uh, so I kind of forgot how I approached it, but after a couple tries, I did end up sticking it. There's a weird ass boulder. I've done this one before, but I don't remember how I did it. <laughs> yeah, that pinch is uh, really rough too. It's, it's just high enough where it's like out of reach. <laughs> ah, so you really have to like jump, commit. This is definitely not a short person's problem. I'm just tall enough where I can jump for it. So I think this is the send right here. And I thought maybe I'm gonna put my right foot a little higher and more to the right. Uh, you can see my right foot right where I'm about to place it, right there. It's a little bit higher than that big middle part. So, so maybe I can get a couple extra inches and commit and just hang and hold on with my toes. Just stand on them and it ended up working out. Such a hard move. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's a lot of ways to do this problem. I might have not have done it the right way, but finally, it's the only way that really worked for me. These uh, these slab boulders are definitely something I want to work on. Yeah, so and there's the send. Fun problem, very difficult, challenging. I'm calling it. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time. I'm exhausted.
So that's the end of the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please subscribe to the channel because I will have much more climbing content coming soon. I'm planning on doing two videos per week. Like the video also and share it with your friends. And I will be back soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to check out the last video as well. Alright guys, see you later.